So we have a bit of a problem. Uh, that problem being that I was in the process of testing out new designs for the update video to, you know, basically making our soft line tubing look like a hard line tubing. And I, one thing I see a lot of you guys comment is why not make the track simpler and make it like a half moon so you just snap the track in or snap the tubing in. And I was like, how did I not think of that? So that's what I was doing. I tested a couple. I even made this one to kind of see how lighting would work. It's just white lights, but as you can see, it doesn't look too bad for what it is. It's very bright, but I did notice with strips, you know, it's hard to get corners. So that's why I bought those RGB LEDs that I will be wiring up when um, the printer filament comes, which it did. And then after this, I was like, I want to make sure the printer is all, you know, tuned. I want to make sure all the belts were tight, all the ball screws were lubed. And I did, and then I wanted to make sure, I ran a couple 3D benchies to make sure everything was tuned in real nice. And, well, the quick connect on my extruder broke, so now we cannot print anything until a new one shows up. It was a new one was supposed to be here Friday, and now it looks like it'll be here next Friday, so we need something to do in the meantime. So, what we're going to try to do is take this perfectly functioning A12X25 from Noctua and attempt to remove the fan blade without destroying the frame or the motor. And you might be like, why would you destroy a perfectly good fan? Well, I do like to break stuff, but most importantly is I have made a couple fans on this channel and it's always fun to make fans and test them. And I can run Flow Simulator on my fan disc to see how well they perform. But I really need a way to test my design versus a known constant that does well. And everybody knows the A12X25 is a good fan. It performs well for a 120 millimeter fan. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna be able to take this fan disc out and then I can snap my designs in and then test it versus a stock configured PWM, you know, A12X25 to see how far off I am from performing as well as, well, say Noctua. Problem is though, is I've tried to take fan discs off other fans in the past and well, fun fact, fans were not meant to be taken apart, so they always break. My hope here is though, since you can see this steel disc in the center of this fan, I'm hoping that underneath this plastic fan, there is basically a, a steel shell that holds the magnets in the stator that spin. And then this is just basically a plastic cap that's pressed over the top. And I'm hoping that if I can cut it off real nicely, I can leave that steel disc in place and I can just pop my fans in and out over the top of it. And that's the hope. And if I can do it, then we have a good test bench to test fan blade designs and it'll be fun. So I got the Dremel and we're going to just try to, we're going to try to be a rocket surgeon and remove that fan blade. And we're going to do one of two things. We're going to make an awesome test bed or we're going to break an awesome fan. So let's find out which one's which. So as we get ready to make a mess of this, I want to remind you guys, if you have any cool ideas for things you want me to print uh, or explore, Make sure to leave me a comment down below. Somebody already had left a comment, or a few of you I think did, about making a custom 3D printed cable comb or track for the 24 pin, which I think is a sweet idea. And uh, you will be seeing that at some point on the channel. So if you got any other great ideas, make sure you let me know. So once the printer's fixed, we got plenty of time, plenty of uh, ideas to start working. And uh, if knock to if you're watching, again, I'm sorry. This is, this is the way. Much as I suspected, there is a steel core inside here that I was actually able to get off relatively easily. The plastic that this fan blade is made out of, the special material that Noctua uses is, um, it melts easy. And then once you get it going, you, you can just crack it away real, real nice. So I guess the moral of the story is if you want to remove a fan from a fan, <laughs> you got to start with a high end one that has a steel core to it because like most other fans, they don't, most other fans don't have this steel core here. They just got a plastic body that holds everything inside it and you can't take it apart too easily. I've tried. 
So now we got to decide. All right, we don't got to decide. We got to we got to find out. Does this fan still work? Because if I killed it, uh, none of this worked. So now we plug it in, and if this little metal drum here spins, we're in business. Come on, baby. Oh, it's so quiet. There's, I mean, that's awesome. So now. Yes, we have murdered one A12X25 PWM fan, but, but now we have a nice test bed that we can try any, any 120 millimeter blade design we want to. Again, Noctua, I do apologize. It was for a good cause. So now I got to decide what blade design do I want to do? 30 blade, 60 blade, 100 blade. You just want to make a, a disc. What do, you guys let me know what kind of blade design you want to, you want to see. Uh, you can even link pictures to like, um, jet engines you want to see. I know I, I'm, it's downstairs, but I made a nice blade that was kind of modeled after like one of GE's engine. It had nice sweeps on it. It looked really cool. Uh, unfortunately, I made that blade to go over a GPU fan mount. And like I said, when I took that fan off, I was left with just a disc and basically a tiny little shaft that could not get to remount anywhere decently to a fan. So now we are good to go. So let me know what you want me to print. Like I said, this is going to be in a future video once my parts show up, hopefully this Friday. Uh, then we're going to do a 24-pin guide rail or guide for that, that uh, plug back there because that was a good idea you guys had. We're going to mess with some new fan designs, and it's just going to keep on building from there. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.